This video will show you how to utilize the Batch Statements feature in Iconotes. First, you'll want to access Patient Accounts, and then look at the tab at the very top labeled Batch Statements. On this tab, you'll be able to view any statements that have been created within a specific date range. To create batch statements, you can also export a list of these that have already been created. You can print those that are listed or delete those that are listed. You can also configure the default settings for the batch statements in the group level settings and directories. Let's create some batch statements. You'll be presented with a list of patients automatically who have a patient balance greater than zero dollars. If you wanted to change this information, you can. Perhaps I want to see everybody who owes over $500. I can either click my tab button to refresh this list or I can just click out of the field. Down below, I can see a list of all the names of these particular patients, their date of birth, ID number, what their balance is, any insurance balances, if they are marked as self-pay, and their various insurance carriers. I can also see when I last created a statement for that particular patient, whether it was a custom statement or a batch statement. At this point, you can use the patient selection options on the left-hand side to select or deselect the various people that you do want to create a statement for, or you can select these manually by clicking the Select button next to each of these particular clients. Down below are the statement settings and you can customize the date that will be on these statements such as if you want this to show September 1st and down below you'll see your statement settings options. Again these are preset in the group level settings and directories and then these have additional details very similar to the custom statements where you can choose to exclude to hide or to include or show various uh, statement setting details. You can also include things like the MPI number, the tax ID, so on and so forth. And then to the right you have your return address which is the uh, address that will be showing that the letter came from, that the statement came from. And then on the right hand side is the billing address and down below you can filter these for specific payers by dates of service, um, by clinician, um, and you can also include a patient statement note. Here into the field you can type, it's a free text field, or you can create custom buttons down below. At the very bottom, you'll notice there is a, an option to generate statements off hours. So what this means is that when you click that box and you click continue, nothing is going to happen right away. Um, whenever you are out of the office, so later on that evening, um, the program's going to automatically generate those for you. So when you come in the next day, you're going to see a whole list of uh, statements that you generated. So you'll be able to print those out, um, whether to PDF or actually to the printer, and you can send those out to your, to your patients. Now if you wanted these right away, you want to make sure that that box is unchecked so it generates right away. Um, there was one additional feature that um, I did not cover. It's here at the very, very top. Do not list patient if their last statement was on a specific date. So if you have already generated a statement for them on a specific date range and you don't want to include them in here, you do have that filter option as well. I'm going to come down here and click continue. Here I have a list of all of the patients that I needed to generate a statement for. So they're my batch statements. I have five of them. Um, and I can see the date that I have put on there, which was 9-1. Um, all of their details here, their patient balance, uh, what the grand total is. And then I can either print these individually, or if I need to remove one, I can, and then click print all listed. Now I do want to encourage you to utilize the generate statements during off hours if you have a lot of statements to create because that will take various resources to generate those and um, don't want that to interrupt your, your daily workflow. However, if you only have several to generate, you can go ahead and do that right then. And before we reach the end of this video, I do want to let you know that when you generate a batch statement for a patient, that it does appear in their individual patient account. That will be under your statements tab and you can see the batch statement over here to the right. And that's how you generate a batch statement in Iconotes. Thank you.